Hello, it's Paul from the UK. There's um, three things I'd like to cover in this week's update to my members and also anyone else in on passive um, as, as a whole. The three things I'd like to cover is getting back to normal, and that's something that most of us are not really looking forward to, as I did yesterday. Um, the next is the new normal, which is obviously on passive. And uh, the third thing is one simple thing you can actually do within your Facebook that you, you, you're on every day, I'm sure, but uh, that you don't do that will make a massive difference. So these are the things I'd like to cover. First is um, getting back to normal. Um, as most of you know, yeah, especially here in the UK, um, with, with the COVID challenges we've had, we've had lockdown and I've had uh, two and a half months off from work and returned a little while ago of only part time, um, which was quite nice for me for my own passive business because it allowed me afternoons uh, to focus on passive and, and build it a bit bigger, which I did, which was quite nice. But yesterday was actually my first day back uh, Monday. Uh, as full time, so they said, you know, we'd like you back to work full time, you know, and so you can't finish at one, you've got to finish at five. Okay, you've got to start at eight, and uh, it just felt like a really long day, you know, after being off uh, for, for quite a long time and getting used to that, and also um, just working part time. And I thought, I quite like this part time. It started off at nine till one, and then it went to eight a.m. till one, but it still was quite good. So that, yesterday felt quite a long day. And then straight from work, my partner said, well, don't forget to go to her daughter's because it's her granddaughter's second birthday yesterday. So it's gonna be a very small celebration, uh, but we need you there straight from work. So on the way home, um, back there, I got a punter in the rear tire just off you know, about half past five in the evening when traffic's really busy. So uh, I managed to get that done really quick. I thought, right, 15 minutes, I'll get that done. I'll be, I won't be too late. And uh, then shortly after that, uh, I got back in the car and all I had on was the hazard lights. I turned all the, the main lights off because it got dark quite early yesterday. And I went to start the car and it wouldn't start. Battery just died really quickly. And I thought, I don't believe this. You know, I've had a horrible long day uh, back at work, back to normal. And then I have the things that happen in normal life, you know, little disasters that happen with cars, you know, but, uh, but not one, but two. So I thought, right, today I'm going to have to get a new battery and a new tyre, which is on, on order for tomorrow. And like any normal life, it's halfway through the month and that's a couple of hundred pounds that's gone out of the budget straight away just on fixing something that's that just could happen to anybody and they're quite annoying those things in normal life and some people have a washing machine that packs up or something else you know not just the car and you've got to find that money so normal life isn't always as good as people think it could be uh, one we work far too long or too many hours really at work uh, so the best time of the day which is the sunny times of the day we, we can't enjoy that because we're at work and then other things like happened like they did yesterday. I ended up two and a half hours late. Uh, it was still a good evening, but it just reminded me of how the new normal is going to be. And the new normal is on passive. We are launching this year. So we've literally got two and a half months to go. Um, and that's going to go really quick because it just does. Uh, when, you're, when you're involved in things and you're happy doing things, it goes quite quickly. And we're going to launch to the world to 212 countries. And our normal changes. My normal is going to be um, not going to work every day, uh, probably not going to work at all and just doing on passive where things are going to change. So I've got more time to myself, more time for people in my team, people I can help, more new people I can help. And also the other thing's going to change, which is quite nice when you have these little financial disasters is uh, we're going to get paid daily. Wouldn't that be really nice? So, you know, we're all waiting at the moment for the end of the month to get paid. And these disasters happen. You've got to find the money. You've just got to do it because it has to be done. And then you think, oh, you know, it leaves you short again. But when we have got the new normal, the new on passive, um, that's going to change uh, dramatically for lot, lots and lots of people because just the fact of getting paid something every day because the business is growing so fast. It's touching 230,000 founder members now. And uh, that's what, what we really want to focus on because we've got two and a half months because, before that founder position um, comes to an end. Uh, I mentioned on last night's UK webinar that um, you know I'm in my early 60s, 61. And there's a, a new guy joined me at the weekend, David, that I've known for some years. And he's been doing home uh, business like I have and been very successful at it. 
and as, as, there's lots of people that we speak to like that, uh, uh, Andy Bottrell <coughs> in the UK group, excuse me coughing now and again I've had a, a bit of a bad a bad cold uh, which is sort of taking it away, taking things off me a bit so uh, um, but one of the things that I mentioned last night that got a little chuckle was uh, we're known as uh, what they call, hang on a second let's get this back round, that's it my little device is blown up. Uh, we're what's known as um, seasoned pros, and that could that could sound like a good thing or a bad thing. You know, if it, oh, you're a seasoned pro, and I think, well, is that really that good? Uh, what does a seasoned pro really mean? It means that we've been in the home business arena or working from home. I've been in, in it for 40 years, uh, in in and out. Um, had some good times and some and some bad times. So for me, the season pro thing is uh, we've made some good money and we've lost a lot too, you know, and a lot of people can identify with that. But since getting involved in on passive, uh, those days are gone, you know, and we're no longer known as seasons pros where we had a good background and we, you know, we've had a good time and we've made some, we've lost some. Um, our new title is we're founder members of On Passive. Um, I'm very grateful to be in the leadership council of, of, of On Passive um, and to see and to be in on this at the start of the start and I think that's something that people need to reflect on where am I in the company you know and uh, you could have joined yesterday where you are is exactly the same place we are you are in the start of the start and when the story is told you can say well I was there you know I joined at 230,000 members other people like Red Redfern and Peter Rogers and Sean Cyrus and lots of others Marty DeGarmo uh, you know, Marty uh, and uh, Mike Ellis and Dan Street, these guys started you know, nearly two years ago when there wasn't even a name. Imagine how this business is going to pan out for them. But it's going to pan out for everyone. And so the new normal is something to look forward to. But from my point of view, we've got two and a half months, or I've got two and a half months, and I'd like you to come and share some of what I'm doing. It's to help a lot more people. Some people get a little bit hung up with this... Um, they think they have to recruit everybody and uh, the way that on passive is is built and structured is you actually don't have to introduce anybody but they just have this terminology or recruit and you can understand that you know because we've all spent years and years in the job in the job world and in the job world you don't recruit you don't share you don't sponsor you go to work and your company recruits so you can understand why people find it a little bit alien sometimes and they go oh I need to recruit why do I need to introduce my friends you don't introduce your friends to work and and they don't say anything they don't tell people that are involved um, and I find that quite amusing as well because I'm really proud to be involved in On Passive. And I, I try and tell everyone, you know, and even people at work, they go, yeah, yeah, it's nice to dream. And you get a little bit of sarcasm. I said, that's okay, keep watching. And I've offered it to them. I've invited them in and some look and some don't. Uh, most of my family haven't looked and don't want to look. And some have joined. You know, which is nice. It's going to be really good for them, especially as they have a family. So it's going to change their family dramatically. And like all things that uh, come become real, people start to look. You know, and uh, and there's nothing different really in in what on passive are doing. If you look at on passive, uh, there are different things we can get multiple products and services all under one roof. Well, in our normal daily lives, we a lot of us watch Sky Television. Now, within Sky, you can have a basic package and pay a, a certain amount for that. You might want the children's channel, then you know, the um, Nickelodeon, not Nickelodeon, a Disney channel, where you're going to pay a little bit more for that. Well, okay, you might want the uh, Discovery channel. You may pay a little bit more for that. And then you might want the sports channel. You're definitely going to pay more for that. So we're used to having packages uh, involved in our daily lives to make things better because we want to see more, hear more, discover more, learn more. So on passive is uh, is just just like Sky, but on a bigger format. Uh, but it also pays you a residual income, something Sky don't do. They keep taking my money every month, but they don't pay me a residual income. So I can understand and sympathise when people say, "Well, it's it's alien to me to you know to offer someone else to come into business," but it all depends how you look at it. I learned something from a man called Peter Hedges um, in 1980 when I was involved in a company called Herbal uh, no, uh, Amway. I joined Herbalife after Amway. But Peter Hedges was a bit of a rough diamond, and he said things like in, a, in the way that made sense to him. And uh, I couldn't get my head around why I needed to introduce people, even if it made me extra money. <coughs> Pete said, 
when you look at it differently, you'll never work a day in your life again. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I don't recruit anybody. I just share this idea with people because I want to help them. I've got friends in the same position as me. We don't like our lunch. We don't like going to work early, coming home late, uh, working weekends. We, we never get a pay rise. We don't get a bonus. He said, so I just focus on people like me. And he said, I'm sure you're just like me. And at that time in 1980, I had a job and you couldn't earn any extra money. And it was what you earned that month was what you earned. And that was it. And I, had, I thought, yeah, he's, he's right. He said, when you start doing that, you start enjoying it. And if you look at people in the home business arena that do this full time, um, and you ask them what you do for a living, they said, well, we don't work because you can't call this work. Can you? Not really. You know, um, and that's why I, I quite regularly bring, I don't bring lots of people on board. Uh, but I've got my friends on board and the people I'd like to see do well in this. There's other people I really would like to see in this and they might join and they might not. I hope they do. Um, so if you're looking at, you know, the normal, if you really look at it properly, the normal isn't very good. We don't want to get back to normal because um, the normal hasn't done us any good so far. The new normal on passive is going to do us um, far better than we've had for the last 10, 15, 20 years. Um, there's been a thing bantered around uh, on online called, uh, <coughs> cat, sorry, it's Catmo. Oh, what's this Catmo? It's a bit of a secret with Ashwin Farah. And, uh, and, and this week it was, it was uh, revealed what Catmo was. And uh, it does, it emphasizes exactly what the business is. Um, so, you know, people say, you know, are, are you, are you uh, building your business with Catmo? So, absolutely. Uh, of course I am. Because it's a complete, the C stands for complete digital products and services. So that's the C. The A is automated. Well, what does automated mean? It means everything's done for you. Wouldn't you like to come into a business where you didn't have to actually do anything? It's all done for you. What does the T stand for? The T is the most valuable thing in our business. The T is for traffic. And say, well, what's traffic? It's not something you sit in when you're on your way home uh, for the next half an hour. Traffic is something where, that gets people to look at what you have to offer, There's, uh, products and services. If we go online and we perhaps look at some shirts or trousers or shoes, and we're just browsing. But when we go back into our social media, all those items that we were browsing at pop up on our social media. Well, how does that work? Uh, that's called traffic. And it's also called artificial intelligence. And that's, and that's how that works. So the T is for, for, uh, for traffic. What's the M for? The M is for money. Isn't that one of the most expensive, uh, one of the most important things, not expensive things, one of the most important things for us all, you know, and say, well, because everyone's got two months month at the end of the money. And I used to do training events years and years ago, and I used to tell people uh, about being broke, and they go, oh, yeah, but I'm not broke, I'm making 80,000. I said, I know, but you spend 86. So most people are broke at different levels. You can be broke at 15,000 a year, and you can be broke at 96 because you spend 100. Uh, everyone lives to whatever they earn. So with uh, with on passive, by the way, it's growing and the exponential growth, um, it's going to keep growing for you onward. Um, and the last thing I'd right, like to really cover is one simple thing that you can do on your Facebook that will bring more people into your on passive business. One simple thing, uh, but it means that you've got to stop hiding. <laughs> and uh, I'm being straight with you. Most of you are hiding uh, because you've joined on passive. You're in, you're in Facebook, and you go on Facebook, and you might forward an advert. You may forward a picture. You might like someone else's post that they've done. You know, you might put a little like to it. But uh, uh, you don't. What you don't do, which could make a massive world of difference to you, is. Put a little advert or something to say that you're involved in on passive, uh, which is going to be one of the biggest companies the world's ever seen. I think that's something to be proud of. And some people join on passive, they don't tell anybody. It's as if they're embarrassed by it. And they go, oh, we wouldn't want to bring anybody in. They wouldn't be interested. Well, uh, I can promise you this. If you told them where you work, they probably wouldn't want to work at your place either. They go, I'm not working there. They don't pay enough for a start. They never give any bonuses. And they're always laying people off. 
So, you know, just because some people think they have a safe job, which we don't have anymore, or we don't have a safe job, um, getting involved in on passive is something that you really would, I urge you to share with people because it's going to be something that they're waiting to hear. And the reality is, if you don't share this with the people that you care about, your family and friends and people that you know, because we're all changing. You know, a lot of people are losing their jobs. They're going to lose more, more jobs by Christmas and there's going to be more next year. What do you think those people are going to do? So my thought is, if you don't show people you're on passive, who's going to show them? You know, are you just going to leave them to one side and let them struggle? You know, you don't want to see people you care about and, and people you love struggle um, because they're going to. And it's usually over money. Most divorces are over money because there's not enough coming in. I'm working as hard as I can. I'm doing my best. You know, it's the same old answers. Yes, you are. But sometimes our best isn't good enough. And sometimes we have to do something different to make things good enough. So all I'm suggesting is um, when you go on your Facebook today, Instead of just pictures of what you've done today, or like I do, I do squirrels and things, and because we live in the woods and put um, you know whatever deer's out there and some lovely pictures, but instead of just doing that, look at some of my posts, look at some of the posts from other people in on passive, and put them on what they call your wall. And your wall is when you open your Facebook, it says at the top, "What do you like to talk about?" put in there. I've just recently got involved in the most fabulous business, online business. It's about to go global. And I had the chance to become a founder, a founder member. So um, that's obviously going to be one of the highest paid positions in the company. And it really is. Um, there are a few founder positions available left, but only for the next two and a half months. Would you like to come and take a look? I use a little simple thing called uh, If I Would You. And I often say to people, that if I send you a link, would you go and take a look at it? That took five, six seconds to say. It's not difficult. If I sent you a link, would you go and take a look at it? Yes, of course I would. Uh, when would you do that? In the, next, in the next day or so? Yeah, sure. Great. Okay, today's Tuesday. I'm going to give you a call Wednesday night, maybe Thursday. If you've got any questions, let's talk about it further. You don't need to push anybody into it. You don't need to say, you need to look at this the next two hours. This is something really serious that's going to really help them. Um, so they need to have a little think about it and, you know, and, and discuss it with their partners, their husbands, their wives. But if you change that one thing, that one simple thing, instead of just putting what you normally put on Facebook, put on Facebook that you're involved in on passive. Uh, in the back office, if you go to links, Go to the right hand side at the top of the page, you'll see webinar links. My personal favorite is number 15. If you copy that link and paste it, the easiest way that I try and teach people to do that is to have a little advert ready. And I've got loads if you like them, if you just get in touch with me, uh, either on Facebook or Messenger or income driven at gmail.com. And it doesn't matter whether you're in my business or not, we're just going to help everyone we possibly can do really well in this. And, and we are. So get a little advert together and then paste that link underneath that and then just copy that, the whole thing, put it into your top bit in Facebook and click post. Uh, when it, when it uh, uh, launches, it'll actually have a picture underneath and it'll invite them to the next webinar and it will also show them the previous webinar. So this does all, everything for you. This is the automated part of this, does everything for you. And uh, quite recently I've done, uh, done that with several people and uh, David, David Bembo for one, you know, I've been talking to David for a while now and now he, he's come on board, he's kicking himself and says to me, you know, I'm so pleased I've joined this last, he joined this weekend. Why didn't I do this before? You know, and I've got a lot of people I want to speak to in America about this. I've got my sister all lined up. She's going to join tonight, you know, and he's kicking himself. I said, don't worry. When I looked at On Passive, I actually didn't look for three months. And my, my sponsor, Dennis Owens, tried to show me this. And I just thought this was like everything else. And a lot of us do. We think it's like everything else. And this is nothing like anything else. This is totally different. On Passive is not like uh, anything else. We're not a network marketing business for, uh, for a start. Um, we're a, we're a, an, IT, uh, an IT company driven by artificial intelligence. That's what we are. That's what we do. Offering products and services to the world that everyone's going to want to use. 
So please consider what I've said there. You know, it's really is, it really is worth your time to reach out to your friends and family and say, look, you know, this is quite serious. This is really good. And it's launching really soon. And when it launches, the founder positions end. They're no more. We can't, we can't have any more founder positions. So um, um, this is an opportunity for you um, to come on board something that's going to, you know, be in the history books. It's going to be on television. It's going to be everywhere. It's got education. It's got everything with it. So, but that one thing would make a massive difference to you and how people join. Um, let me, I've probably got maybe three people because I, I've always done things like that. If I'm in something, I'll post it. I won't just post it into work from home groups. I'll post it. And there's a lady that bought a classic car off me some years ago, Laura Shelton. Laura got in touch with me just a handful of months, maybe three or four months ago, and said, I've seen what you're doing on Facebook. I keep seeing these things. What is it? Can you tell me more about it? And I sent her more videos about it from uh, Mike Ellis. And then I followed up with her. And at that time, she was just lost her job that she'd only had for about six months. And then she got made redundant. And so she was looking for another one. And by the time we'd finished, the conversation was, I, you know, she wants to find something where she doesn't get made redundant from. You know, so she knows there's going to be a future there. And this past week or so, she's had another disappointment. My, um, she's had... Um, her wedding cancelled because of COVID, unfortunately. She was due to get married and she was very excited about that. And now the wedding is scheduled for May. But the good thing about that is come May, uh, Laura's income is going to be pretty good. <laughs> so if she needs to spend any more on the wedding, it's going to be there. You know, it's not going to be a challenge. So those are my three things for today. Um, think about them, you know, the, the, the normal isn't very good at all. It's not that good being normal, going to work every day. And if you listen to people, what I do on Facebook is I try and listen and see when people listen to what people are saying. What they're saying is they don't want to go to work in the, in the dark. They don't want to go home in the dark. They don't want to work weekends anymore. Um, so what they're really saying is what they do want is something like on passive that it is automated, does everything for them, where they can be at home. They don't have to go to work in the, in the mornings. I spend 120 pounds a month in fuel just to go to work to make a living. How mad is that? And people say, going to work doesn't cost any money. Oh, it does. <laughs> and then you get little accidents like I had yesterday. You know, 200 pounds, that's cost me to put that right. So, you know, um, think about that. Have a listen to the people on your Facebook. Listen to what they're saying. What they're saying is, we want something better. And you have it. Uh, why not offer it to them? Just share the idea. If I can be of any help to you at all, um, then you want me to speak to them, or they like to speak to me, that's absolutely <coughs> no problem at all. Let's do that. Let's get that done. So that's my update. That's my chat, as I call it, for this week. But I cover three things. The normal, the new normal, which is better. And the one thing you can do on your Facebook that will make a massive difference to how many people come into your business is just share what you've got. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, something to be proud about. Uh, you're in something absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's people just waiting to hear, I'd love to find something. Everyone says that. If I could just find something. You know, what is out there without costing me a fortune? It's $97. In the UK, that's about £80, £82. You know, I'm sure we've all spent that on a bad meal. So anyway, that's me done for this week. And uh, look forward to seeing you all again soon. And, and take care. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.